Now this tiny wallet is is kind of what started it all, really. Not not just my leatherworking journey, but I, I think to some extent my filmmaking journey. This was one of the first videos on the channel to do to be somewhat successful. And to this day, it's still the video that gets the most attention. I get the most requests from people asking, where can I buy this? And I came, I came really close, like so close on a number of occasions to actually trying to sell these. And, you know, people were quite excited because I actually announced it at one point. But uh, there was just there was something holding me back. It was just something with it that it just, it just wasn't quite good enough. And it's, it's only now, I think, what, a little over two years later that I'm at the point where I think I finally optimized the design. I think I finally have the optimal leather wallet. reason that this has come up again is, well, it's a, it's a couple of things, but I want to start by talking about some of the issues that, that I have with minimalist wallets in general as to what kind of brought about this whole design in, in the first place. Now, I believe this is one of those aluminium style uh, sort of clamshell minimalist wallets. It looks good. Like, it looks really good. I, I feel like this would look great in photos. And then cards go in the middle like that. I must admit, I don't think my cash would be overly secure, but I do, I really like this. I really like this, this clear piece where you could put a card that you need to swipe every now and again. But, and this is a, this is a big but, or two butts, I think. One, it's, it's heavy. It's, it's really heavy. Chunky as well. It is really thick for what I would, if, if you were to call this a minimalist wallet, I think that's being a little bit generous. So the second problem I have is this aluminum join here, you're basically rubbing it on aluminum either side. So if this is a bank card, it's gonna very quickly wear away at your bank card. The numbers are gonna be rubbed down, you're potentially gonna damage the chip, the, the pin card, I think. But I think we can actually fix both of those issues in one swoop. Well made, I'll give them that. So there you have it, the James Graves mod to the MN Garista minimalist wallet. Now in case you're interested quickly, they did also send me this. I've never actually wanted one of these before. I've never thought to buy one. I've never considered owning one because to me they're always just like little pieces of like folded steel, but this particular one, it's pretty sturdy actually. And actually what I did was I, I took I took another one here, added this little S clip here. I can just clip keys, I can clip key card, whatever I want on here. Not that I, I like things dangling around, but when I'm at work, actually, this is this is pretty handy. Just kind of clip it on there and actually I can have my my key card or my, my keys for the building or whatever here, put it out and it's good to go. immediately you'll be able to see why it's important to print at scale. First time, click print, fit, whatever the default settings were, clearly not the right size. Make sure when you print, you click scale to 100%. Right, 
Right. Uh, and it's cold. It's cold coffee. Okay. As usual with your pattern, first of all, check the size. This dimension here should be exactly 92, which it is. Ain't no sunshine. She's always gone too long. Anytime. Okay. Here we have our very odd looking pattern. Now this might look strange, but I, uh, I guarantee you this will work. The best part of our leather, which is, well, there's not much to choose from, but it's this piece here. What I'm doing is just creating an early stage prototype to test the pattern before releasing it to you guys to make sure that all the dimensions, all the scale, everything is correct. So I'm not really paying too much attention to the finer details. There's a lot of up edges and corners here that just don't, don't look very good. So what is different between this wallet and the original minimalist wallet? You see the original design had two parts that would overlap to create the back of the wallet, not to mention the rest of the wallet would then fold over to, to be able to close it off. And what that created was three layers of leather where there only needed to be one. And in fact, that third layer, I mistakenly thought when I first made it that I could put something in there, some cash. I put a 10 pound note in there thinking it would just, you know, it's a good place to put cash. And I lost it within 10 minutes. So that was, that was 10 pounds down. So the final step is to take the learnings from this prototype and to tweak the design a little bit and to produce what I, sh I believe should be the final template, the final pattern. And then I can create a final prototype, which I'll show you guys now.